Hey everyone, welcome back to Slaver Vlogs and welcome back to another Dancing with the Stars recap. So this week was Janet Jackson week, which means all of the dancers danced to songs by Janet Jackson. I was not familiar with her songs at all, so it was really fun to get familiar with another artist. I think I'm a fan now, so that's always great. And let's get into it. So first up we have Jimmy Allen and Emma. They did a cha-cha to escapade. They got eights all across the judges panel for a 32 out of 40 as their total. I really liked his nice groove especially at the beginning and obviously throughout the dance. I think he had a really nice rhythm and movement going on and he had really nice musicality unfortunately he was eliminated at the end of the episode so i will get into that later next up we have suni lee and sasha they did a samba to all for you they got a perfect score so 10 10 10 10 for a 40 out of 40 as a total i really liked her great technique as always her great footwork as always and i really liked how she was sassy and her personality really shined in this dance i think that each week Week, we keep seeing a little bit more of Suni Lee and we keep getting a little bit more of her personality so she's starting to be more open and I love that. I think that next week she should work on her arms, make them more expressive and make them more strong. There were a couple moments where I thought her arm placement was a little bit too soft. Maybe that's just my opinion and you know what I had seen on the show before from the pros but I feel like some of her arms needed to be a little bit more strong and sharp. Next up, we have Melora Hardin and Artem. They did a Paso Doble to If. They got 10s all across the judges panel, so a perfect score for a 40 out of 40 as their total. I really liked how fierce and strong and powerful this routine was, and it was honestly just like a Paso Doble should look like. And I was really impressed with her expression through movement. I know that I'm always impressed with her acting and her facial expressions, but I feel like her expression through movement really, really, really really came out. I think that next week she should work on controlling her kicks a little bit. So I feel like sometimes her kicks were a little bit too powerful and it kind of threw her off balance a little bit within the routine. So I think that if she can control those kicks and make sure that they are expressing power but still kind of not overpowering, I think that will help out with her balance a lot. Next up we have Olivia Jade and Val. They did an Argentine tango to anytime, any place. They got nines all across the judges panel for a 36 out of 40 as their total. It was very sensual. She had a great connection with Val as always and really good footwork and great lifts. Val incorporated those lifts amazingly in the Argentine tango. Again, sadly, they were eliminated, so I will get to that at the end of the recap. Next up, we have Cody Rigsby and Cheryl. They did a Paso Doble to Black Cat. They got a 10, 10, 9, and 9 for a 38 out of 40 as their total. I really liked how strong and bold this dance was and it had power. It was confident and controlled. You could definitely tell that Cody was a lot more confident within himself and that he was really, really, really feeling himself, which I really enjoyed watching. And honestly, those knee walks in the Paso Doble are really, 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 really difficult. So props to him for getting those because I could not do that. Like he really made it look effortless and those knee walks are no joke. They are actually very hard. That's the dancer's job is to basically make things that are really, really hard and make them look easy. So he did exactly that. And I think that next week he should just work on keeping up the confidence. I really liked this new side of Cody and this confident side of Cody, and I wanna see it again. Next up, we have Amanda Klutz and Allen. They had a jazz routine to Miss You Much. They got a perfect score, so 10, 10, 10, 10 for a 40 out of 40 as their total. I really liked how edgy this dance was and she was very in sync and in rhythm with the music and her personality really showed. I know the judges had been cracking down on her and making sure that she was really being expressive and I think this was true authenticity and true authentic expression and emotion and I loved that. 
And as Bruno said, she really made it her own, which I totally agree. And I think that next week she should just work on the stiff arms. I feel like that sometimes she can make those arms a little bit stiff where they should be a little bit fluid. And that's probably because she was a rocket before. And so she's pretty much trained to be very in time precise and that can come off as very sharp. Next up, we have Amon Shumpert and Daniela. They had a cha-cha to Rhythm Nation. They got a 9899 for a 35 out of 40 as their total. First of all, I loved the costumes and I really liked the good extended arms. I think that Danny's choreography really showcases Amon's abilities and it really puts those abilities and that skill that he has in the spotlight like she does a really good job with choreographing on him to showcase his abilities and not just choreograph this really hard routine and expect him to learn everything and get everything perfect i think that next week he should have a little bit more content in the dance i know that i just praised her choreography but i feel like this cha-cha didn't have a lot of cha-cha content or at least not as much cha-cha content as i would have liked to have so i think that she should pick out steps that iman is good at and iman is strong at and then incorporate those into the dance instead of kind of having this more contemporary cha-cha dance if that makes sense and there was not a lot of hip action so a little bit more hip action in those latin dances is always preferred next up we have jojo siwa and jenna they had a salsa to the song feedback they got a 10 9 10 10 for a 39 out of 40 as their total they had really nice passes so that's when they kind of go under each other's arms and things like that she had a really good controlled personality that i loved i think that each week Jojo was getting better with controlling her energy and really kind of focusing on the technique and focusing on the dance instead of the character and her energy is much more lower and it's much more controlled and I just really enjoy that. It was definitely like a supermodel salsa as of last week. It was a supermodel tango so I feel like this new controlled energy from Jojo is making her very strong and powerful like a supermodel so I love that and I think that for next week I honestly kind of agreed with Len there were a lot of kind of gimmicks that he said that were not salsa content and I get that there's a lot of lifts in salsa and I do think that there was salsa content in there I just think that sometimes the lifts were a little bit unnecessary and there were other things that I thought that didn't really match the style of the dance a little bit. So I do agree with Lynn on that. I hate to be kind of the buzzkill, but that's kind of my opinion on that. Alrighty, so now it's time to get into the dance-off rounds. So for those of you who don't know what the dance-off rounds were, they were basically when two couples were paired against each other and they had to compete at the same time to the same song so they split the ballroom in half one couple dance on one side the other couple dance on the other side and they dance the same dance style to the same song and then they were also assigned a judge and that particular judge determined who won the dance off and then whoever won the dance off received two points. So first up we have the salsa dance off. It was Jimmy Allen and Emma versus Suni Lee and Sasha. They danced the salsa to Made for Now, the Latin version, and Bruno was their judge and Bruno picked Suni Lee as the winner of the dance off so she got two points. I also, first of all, I wanted to say that these first two dance offs were absolutely hilarious because they pinned the spouses against each other. So Sasha, who is Suni's partner, and Emma, who is Jimmy Allen's partner, they are actually married. So I thought it was really funny that they had like the battle of the spouses. And then they also did the same with the next dance off. And I'll explain that when I get to that. But Jimmy brought the lifts and tricks and the personal groove as always. And then Suni brought the technique as well as a little bit of personality. So I honestly also would have picked Suni Lee as the winner of the dance-off just because she had 
a better balance of personality and technique. Whereas Jimmy didn't really have much of a technique, but he had a really nice personality and a really nice expression and groove. Next up, we have the rumba dance off. It was Jojo Siwa and Jenna versus Olivia Jade and Val. They danced the rumba to That's the Way Love Goes and they were judged by Carrie Ann. Carrie Ann chose Jojo to get the two extra points. So Jojo won the dance off and this was also the battle of the spouses because jenna who is jojo's partner and val who is olivia jade's partner they are also married so i thought that was really funny again battle of the spouses so jojo had power and olivia had chemistry with val but i feel like that there was overall a lot more synchronicity and connection between jojo and jenna in this and so for that reason i also would have picked jojo i just think that she was a stronger dancer and that she had the stronger performance next up we have the foxtrot dance off this was melora hardin and artem versus iman shumper and daniela they did the foxtrot too again and their judge was derek and Derek awarded Melora Hardin the two points, so she won the dance off. So Melora was very elegant and Amon was beautiful and majestic, but I also would have picked Melora Hardin just because her technique was definitely better than Amon Shumpert's. I think that she had a better technique and better performance overall, so I think that was pretty much an easy decision for at least me. And last but not least, we have the cha-cha dance-off. It was Amanda Clutes and Allen versus Cody Rigsby and Cheryl. They did the cha-cha two together again, and they were judged by Len. And Len chose Amanda Clutes as the winner of the dance-off and awarded her two points. So Amanda brought the footwork and personality, and Cody brought the spice and the technique and the upper body. But I feel like Amanda had a better performance overall and a better balance between personality and footwork. I think that footwork, it was so precise, so crisp, and so clear that that really stood out to me. And that's why I would have chosen Amanda as the winner for this dance off. So let's talk about this elimination round it was a double elimination so it was extra hard so it was olivia jade and val jimmy allen and emma and melora hardin and artem in the bottom three olivia jade and val were the first pair to be eliminated so they didn't get any judges input they didn't get any chance for the judges to save them i honestly was very shocked that olivia jade got eliminated I think that she should have stayed in the competition. She's definitely one of the strongest dancers within the group of contestants. And it was really, really sad for me to see her go. I mean, obviously I feel like we should put all of our personal views about her aside and really judge on the dancing. And I feel like dancing wise, she was absolutely incredible, especially for somebody who has never had any kind of performance or dance experience at all. It's really, really hard to learn dance and make it look so effortless like Olivia Jade did. So. It was really impressive to me that her dancing was so strong despite not having any kind of dance background at all. So that was really sad for me to see her go and see her get eliminated. And then in the bottom two, it was Jimmy Allen and Emma and Melora Hardin and Artem. And the judges saved Melora Hardin and Artem. I think they went with the right pair here. I think that they made a right decision. I think that Melora Hardin and Artem were definitely the strongest pair out of the two that were in the bottom two. Jimmy Allen is one of my favorite country music singers. I'm a huge country music fan. So that was really sad for me to let him go as well. I mean, Carrie Ann was literally crying. I was crying too. I think that he, as Carrie Ann said, he was literally Literally the embodiment of this show. He had a personal connection to every single dance that he did and he used that to the best of his ability and he used that to draw in the hearts of the audience and the hearts of the judges and he really 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 made that transition of being shy in the beginning to being very expressive and emotional in the end. You know that's a win in my heart especially so it was really really hard to let him go and see him leave the competition and see him get booted off but again I think that between the two Melora Hardin and Artem was 
definitely the right decision. So that is it for this week's recap. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you're updated every single time we upload a video. Comment down below video ideas. Follow us on social media. The links are in the description below. If you would like to see all of the dances that happened this week, you can click on those links in the description below. And if you would like to see all the past dances from past weeks and past seasons, you can check out Dancing with the Stars on YouTube. And if you would like to see my written recap that I got published in my school newspaper, you can click that link in the description below as well. Thanks again for watching. I will see you guys next week. Semi-finals week. Whoop, whoop. Get excited.